Bhutan is a tiny Himalayan kingdom noted by the head of India and the tail of China. It is bestowed with the buildings of rich forest and plenty natural resources for the development of ecology. Bhutan is one of the richest countries world have ever seen in terms of livelihood and coexistence with the mother nature. The philosophy of cross national happiness as pronounced by the mighty king of Bhutan Drug Gelpo Jigmesinghe Wangchuk has taken it a step further into materialistic development without having a manipulation on the spiritual development. Why should people in Bhutan not be proud when the world says that's Bhutan, the land of Thunder Dragon. It is the home where GNH was epicentered, shaking the world with the phrase of appreciation. People in Bhutan are the luckiest, I must say. Of the fortunate people, I am one of them. And this is my life in the heavenly abode, now regarded to the world as the carbon neutral nation. A big yellow glow in the clear sky, the enchanting calls from the early birds and the melodious prayers from the monasteries sets forth my day. The refreshing morning air from the forest and the sweet taste of water every time surrounds me and my society with luxury. These give a peace of mind in the souls of every Buddhist. Every time my feet touches the earth, it takes me closer to the nature. The smoothness of the earth reminds me that every individual living in carbon neutral Bhutan is enjoying it. As I walk across the thick flashing streets of the forest, I recall the hard work our forefathers have put in to rape a beautiful forest. In my society, we believe that forest is culturally and spiritually connected to our soul. Even to this day, our environmentalists and foresters are fighting so hard to conserve the natural resources. Despite the modernization in one part of the country, there are things that haven't changed in another. The ancient practices are still green and fresh. The noisy tailoring machine could not overtake the calm sewing pin. The breakable darker plates could not substitute our hand-woven bangchum. And the toxic bed bottles still lags behind the eco-friendly palang. I have been living in this developmental phase of competition where any time our rich and prestigious natural resources could be compromised for the development of the infrastructure. However, I am proud to say that my generation now and later could lead an unprecedented peaceful life. Much should I say about the dynamic leadership of their majesties who have never failed to recognize the fact that my nation is shining to this level in front of the world beyond its boundary. This is the life in the carbon natal baton. Thank you.